real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Erica Prater was best friends with the defendant, but after Erica got pregnant, the defendant became jealous. Erica claims the defendant played a prank and pretended that Erica's belongings were stolen from her house. However, she never returned the property, so Eric is suing. Defendant Loranda Glasper insists she was happy for Erica when she got pregnant and tried to be there for her. Loranda admits that she pretended that she was robbed, but she insists Erica got all of her property back. Prove your case. Um, okay, me and Loranda was best friends. We were in high school together. We was also around the same crowd. Um, I got in a relationship in 2007 with my boyfriend. It seemed like me and Lorenda's relationship sort of went downhill from there. She started to become distant from me um, when I would talk about my boyfriend and try to have girlfriend conversations with her and Can stuff I like that. Can I please say she something? Just, nope. Okay. Go ahead. She just seemed to like have an attitude. She wasn't supporting me at, like my best friend should. Um, back in November, um, I told her that I was pregnant this recent November just passed 2011. I told her that I was pregnant. Um, she, instead of her being excited for me, she kind of seemed like she was just jealous. Like she didn't say, oh, well, how far along are you? Like most people say, well, how far mm -hmm. along are you? Um, what are you, you know what you have in? Like, are you excited? Are you happy? Like, yeah, I'm so happy for you. Like, I'm happy that you, you're about to start a family. Instead mm -hmm. it was just like, you about to have a baby? Oh, okay. And it was like, oh, awkward for me, like, okay, you're supposed to be my best friend, so I thought you would be more excited for me. All right, let me allow her to give some background, okay. ma'am. Okay. Me and Erica have been friends since high school. We used to go to church, do workshops, all of that. And she had told me she was pregnant, and I was always happy for her. Even when she had her boyfriend, I was always happy for her. Like, she called me, she was like, I'm pregnant, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe it. Like, I was excited for her, okay. like, it was my child. And I was never, like, mad or down. Where do you think she got that impression? I don't know. Okay, she never mentioned it to you? No. Did you mention it to her? No, sir, I didn't mention oh, okay. it to her. You didn't say, best friend, why aren't you excited? Best friend, you act like you're not happy for me. I, I know for That's a... what I would do. Yeah. If, my, if I told my best friend the one of the most uh, exciting times of my life is about to occur, and he kind of blows it off, I said, man, ain't you happy for me? I got a lot on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, when you clear up, I want you to show me that you're happy for me. <laughs> if I told my best friend the one of the most uh, exciting times of my life is about to occur, and he kind of blows it off, I said, man, ain't you happy for me? <laughs> I got a lot on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Plaintiff Erica Prater was best friends with the defendant until Erica got a boyfriend and got pregnant and the defendant became jealous. The stolen property you're suing her for, what happened? Okay, um, in February 2012, I had, because um, I just moved back from Columbus, I was living with my mother at the time. Um, instead of me getting the storage because I really didn't have the money for storage, I was trying to save money for the baby, Lorenda had offered me to put my belongings in her house. Um, so I put my belongings in there. It was two flat screens. It was some clothes. It was some jewelry. And <clears throat> that was it. That was all that was in there. Um, I was calling Lorenda because I needed to come get some things. Like, I probably need some shoes or something like that. I needed to come grab some things from her. Um, every time it seemed like I would call her, she would just... I'm at home, I'm at work. Okay, well, can you call me when you get off work? Because I really need to grab this stuff. It's always an excuse. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I had just popped up over there one day. Um, I just was just going to say hi to the family and stuff like that because, like I said, it's my best friend. Mm -hmm. so her mom is like my mom. So I was going to say hi to the family. Uh, while I was there, she was there. So I'm like, oh, while you're here, let me go grab my stuff. So I went through downstairs to go grab my stuff, which was the basement. All my things were gone. Um, she was at You have your list? I do have a list. What did she say happened to your things? She acted um, shocked as if she was robbed. Um, she told you that? She said, I was robbed. Yeah, she was like, oh, I was robbed. Um, was the rest of the house robbed? No, but my <laughs> stuff was gone. They just wanted to rob the things that you that had, had over there. Correct. So, did you have a beef with anybody? No, I didn't have I just moved back from Columbus. Diamond rings. And it was more stuff than that, too, Your Honor. It was just 
some of okay. that. That's actually a statement. Go ahead. Um, that so my wrote. you had mentioned it to her, and, and you okay. all discussed the robbery, and who called the police? She said she had already taken care of it. Taken care of it how? Calling the police. She acted right. I know it sounds kind of. She acted like she was shocked and she'd been robbed, but she's telling me that she already called the police. Okay, so it I wasn't was, making sense. I was sense. so overwhelmed that mm -hmm. it was just like, oh my stuff. I'm gonna get this stuff back. I got this baby on the way. Like. Okay, so what ultimately happened when you all parted that day, or? Well, she told me that she was gonna get my stuff back, and she already called the police. Um, I didn't think to tell because my boyfriend's stuff was with my stuff. So I didn't want to like tell him. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to chill, chill. Okay. We're going to get my stuff back. This is my best friend. I trust her. I believe okay. what she's going to say. So like after that, like a couple weeks after that, she told me that it was a prank. Oh. She told me that it was a prank. So they hid all these things? <laughs> right. Okay, did you say the prank is over? Was you giving my things? Right. And this what is happened? What, this is what was supposed to be said. She said it was a prank, that Dang. she had somebody come and take my stuff, and she just said, I'm going to get it back. All I got to do is call them, and we can get your stuff back. She didn't give it back. I kept calling her, asking she her She hasn't when. given it, obviously. Yes, right. ma'am. Let me hear from you. Okay. When she came down here from Columbus, she had asked, can she stay the night? Mm -hmm. Her stay the night ended up being a living there. So when she was staying there, my mom even asked me, like, I thought she was just staying at night. Well, she got all her clothes here, like, she about to live here. I'm like, well, I mean, she don't got nowhere to go, so I'll keep her here. And she was like, That's okay. Mm -hmm. So she'll stay there, she'll cook, leave her dishes on the stove. Mm -hmm. So the first person, even if that is your friend, mm -hmm. the first person your mama gonna yell at is you, mm -hmm. because that's your friend. Mm -hmm. So she'll leave her dishes on the stove. She'll leave her clothes mm -hmm. everywhere. She'll leave her bras and panties, like, everywhere. So I'll get yelled at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that we've gotten the bras and the panties out of the way, <laughs> why don't we get to the TVs? The TVs. I don't think she's suing the for bras and panties. Yeah, her TVs yeah, was so downstairs. So I don't need to hear about that. I want to hear about her televisions and her jewelry. Okay. Her TVs was downstairs in the basement. Mm -hmm. Jewelry was never there. If it was jewelry, it was... Uh, dress up jewelry mm -hmm. like you get from Forever 21 for like $5. Mm -hmm. That's it. It mm -hmm. was never no jewelry that was like a thousand dollars. No, none of that. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if she had her jewelry there, I would have put uh, that all up. All right, let's move on. She wouldn't have her jewelry there. What okay. about the television? So I had, I was like, Erica, she called me. There's never been a time where I never not answer my phone. Okay. I always answer my so phone. So she never called you five times no. about coming to get any of her items. No. All right, good enough. Now, what happened to her items? We was, um, me and my boyfriend and his friend. I said, okay, my mom was yelling at me. I just got mad. So I'm like, y'all just take her stuff. And my boyfriend hid it in his car. Mm -hmm. We was playing a prank. Mm -hmm. So when it was in his car, mm -hmm. I had, she came in and she was like, where's my stuff? Mm -hmm. And I was like, we got robbed. What happened to her things? Where are her things now? Her stuff was in the car. And, and my the car was robbed? No. What happened to her things? <laughs> her what stuff? is wrong with you? Her stuff what happened was in to the her car. things? What? I put her stuff that was downstairs, her uh -huh. TVs and everything, yes. in the car. Where are they now? They, they, what she is got wrong them. with you? What? She got her stuff. And I don't have her What took you so stuff. long to say that? When did you return it to her? The next day. Where did you return it to? I put her stuff right there by the door, packed everything what door? up. My door. Plaintiff Erica Prater was best friends with the defendant until Erica got a boyfriend and got pregnant and the defendant became jealous. You should not have moved her things in the first place. When you moved her things, you had a responsibility to make sure she got them. I made sure she got all her stuff. I told her that night oh, that it was a so prank. so she's making all this up. Basically. What do you mean basically? The yes, answer is yes, yes or no. She is making it up. Okay, no, ma'am. She says you're making this up that in fact you got all your things back no, after sir. her and her boyfriend robbed you. I never received any of my belongings back. Um, first she stated that... When was the last time you all spoke about the belongings? Um, the last time we spoke about it was when she signed a promissory note. Yes, see the note. And I also have a statement from my boyfriend of mm -hmm. the things that was in there. This is a statement. I'm sorry, here you go. And this is the promissory note. And I have pictures of the TVs as well. 3,500 foot belongings. You the worst. Judge me for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Um, I think that you owe me an apology. If you was really my best friend, you wouldn't put me through that much stress. 
Um, and I would have never done anything like that to you. You know, I have this baby in a way, you know, I have responsibilities. And I think as a woman, you can't even look at me and admit that you was wrong. And I think that hurts me the most, because you was my best friend. I can't believe that you sat here and just told a big story and then had the judge believe that you actually got your stuff told, stolen when you actually got it. <laughs>